knowledge of sin come through the law. It's not my word. That's God's word. He emphasizes, he says, no one picks up the Jewish element inherit. Those under the law broaden it to include all men. No one will be declared righteous. That is absolutely no one will achieve righteous standing with God on the basic of their own work. Your work is not going to save you. I don't care how much work you do. I don't care how much you preach. You can be, I can be up here preaching to you every single day. But guess what? I'm not doing nothing. I'm only working. I don't care how many days you come to the food pantry. Not that we don't, that, that we don't appreciate what you do in the food pantry. We do appreciate your time that you give every single Saturday, days in and days out, uh, hurricane or not. Even through this pandemic, you still come out and serve. We greatly appreciate it. But at the end of the day, no matter if I come in every single Sunday and cut the grass and paint the building, vacuum, I'm doing all this work for what? Nothing. We have to understand God to live under grace. We have to understand that we cannot be living in sin. We have to change our ways. We have to change our mind. We have to change our soul. We have to, we have to redirect our eyes, the things that we are looking at. This morning, I know God is talking to me. I know that for a fact. But what about you this morning? Do you feel that the Holy Spirit is talking to you? In everything that's been said, how God says, no one is righteous. And Paul repeatedly, no one is righteous. How many of us this morning are righteous? Nobody. Wow. I'm surprised. But therefore, I'm not. And you not. I'm going to ask you guys a question so we can end. How can we make ourselves righteous? Through Christ. Only through Christ. If I want to be a slave, I don't want to be a slave of men. I want to be a slave of the men above. The one and only. The one that created me. The one that will never fail me. The one that will always forgive me. The one when I'm crying, he's going to put his head on my shoulder. The one who will never forget about me. When I'm going through trials and tribulation, he's always going to be by my side. He will never, never leave me alone. This morning, let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we praise you. We, we, we worship you, God, just for who you are. Thank you, Lord, for this moment that we are spent together, Lord. And we are about to end service, Father God. You know that if someone here, Father God, needs you, and wherever they are, Father God, you could touch them. You could talk to them, Father God. And sometimes you whisper in our ears, God. I'm asking you, Lord, to whisper in somebody's ear this morning. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Wilson. Um, I invite everyone to stand for one more song this morning as we conclude the service. We're living in crazy times this pandemic with all of um, our country's uh, very uh, racist-filled, injustice-filled history coming back to surface and to the light. And um, just, like, just like Wilson said, we need to seek God for his wisdom, trust in the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, and um, trust in him. And uh, none of us are righteous, like he said. No, not one. But our goal is to be as Christ-like as we can be through the power of the Holy Spirit, um, to love our neighbors as ourselves. And so let's continue to trust in Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God the Father during these times. Let's sing this song.
Is all creation groaning in it? Is a new creation coming in it? And is the glory of the Lord to be the light within our midst? Is it good that we remind ourselves of this? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? The Lion of Judah conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. Is he worthy? Blessing and honor and glory. Is he worthy of this? Does the Father truly love us? He does. Does the Spirit move among us? Sing, He does. And does Jesus, our Messiah, hold forever those he loves? Does our God intend to dwell again with us? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone holy? seal and open the scroll. The Lion of Judah who conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. Is he worthy? Is he worthy of all blessing and honor and out into our neighborhoods, our workplaces, and into our homes, that we would let your light shine, Father God, that the work of grace that you've done in our hearts to take us from a sinner to a saint would be on display for all to see, that they would see your good works and give glory to you, our Heavenly Father. It's in your name we pray, amen.